Hi, I'm Lewis Bell, the Director of Training for OPW, and I'd like to take a couple of minutes here and show you how the app that we've created works for you. First of all, let me just say that the app was created so that all the resources that we've been creating for years, we could be able to pull all of those into one central application. And this one central application would give you the resources you need, no matter what you need. So you never have to go to the field and wonder, do I have the right manual? You never have to go into a uh, customer's office and say, you know, do I actually have the right equipment to show them? Because you do have the right equipment to show them if uh, if you have the app. So what I want to do is just go through the app just very quickly here. It's uh, it's available for download right now for either Apple or Android. You can look at the screen right now, actually take your phone or tablet and take a picture of that QR code for either Apple or Android, and it will take you directly to the download page for you to be able to download that app and install it. We wanted to try to make this as easy as we could to, to acquire. Um, the, the app is free and the app is fully functional for everyone. And so all you have to do is look at the opening page of the app and you see all of the products that we currently have in the app. We will be adding more products as we go on. Uh, each product that we've got in here now, these are probably our featured items, the things that we really think are important at the moment. Now, that doesn't mean that's always going to be the only thing in the app. We will be putting many, many more uh, objects in the app. So I uh, just wanted to let you know what, uh, what the opening screen looks like. That's it. And so what you can do is just go into the opening screen uh, or into an individual model by clicking on the model, and then you can see what we've got right here. I've got the edge bucket pulled up. So looking at the individual model now, I have opened up the edge bucket model and you can see here that uh, what you what you see on the screen is just simply a, a three-dimensional model that you can manipulate. Now let me show you how to do that. If you take two fingers together, almost together, on the screen and move up or down or side to side, it will move the model in the actual frame. And so you can move the model back and forth. You don't have to uh, try to try to maneuver it any other way. So just two fingers together, up or down, side to side, uh, diagonally, and it will move the model in the frame of the app. Okay, so that, that helps you there. Now, if you take two fingers together uh, and pull them apart, what happens is the model explodes. It gets much, much larger, and sometimes uh, it gets too large, and so just take the two fingers again uh, apart and then pull them together, and then you will see how to uh, actually zoom in on the model. Again, two fingers together, pulls that model back down in the frame, okay? But that's not all you can do with this model. I'm gonna reset it. This uh, button over here on the right side resets it uh, to the original uh, frame. So if you've uh, gotten it too large or you've gotten it out of, out of frame and you wanna get it back to where it was originally, just hit that uh, reset button. The middle button there is what you'll use a lot, I'm sure, which is the disassembly button. And when you click that, it actually explodes the model and allows you to look at the individual components. Now this may be very valuable to you, but it may be, be even more valuable when you see uh, the, the third icon over here, the one far to the left, is the eye icon. And when you click that, it brings up the call-ups. Now, we, we have call-outs actually on this model, all over the model. We try not to put so many that it makes it difficult to uh, maneuver, okay, or so that you can't really see anything. So we don't put everything in those, and I'll show you what we do uh, with the additional items there. But if you have items on this model that you that are very important, we put a call out there. And so if you click the call out, you'll see this uh, tells you what the torque value is for this particular part, the nipple there, and then also what tool you might need to install that correctly. So this is very valuable for field uh, uh, technicians, installers who are in the field. They've got all the information at their fingertips that they could possibly need. They know what the torque values are. So if we close that, we actually have to close that one in order to open a different one. And so if I uh, want to bring this model up and down here, I see these bolts. If I want to find out what the torque value is on those bolts, I just click that call out. Now there are always, now you can close the, all the call outs by clicking the eye again, and then you can uh, take your model back to where it was originally by hitting the, the uh, button on the far right. But uh, in addition to this, let's say there are parts that are available on this that it just would be too cluttered if we put it all on that screen. All you have to do is up here on the top right within the model, if you're already within a model, just go up here to the top right and there are additional things there. So we've got uh, th the 3D model that would just take you back 
to that model. But if you click uh, product description, it gives you from our webpage the specific product description if you need to put that in some document that maybe you're sending to a customer. Uh, part specifications, if there are uh, certain specifications such as uh, high alcohol content, what's, what is this UL rated for? That kind of information would be in the, specific, in the specifications. Uh, part number list, this is very good because it gives you a complete um, part number list for everything associated with this. So if there's too many for us to put on the screen with callouts, you'll find all the other options for this particular part are available here on this screen for the part number list. Again, that extra menu up there is very valuable to have. What I want to do is go back to right now the main menu and show you one of the other uh, aspects of the, the main menu here is the tools button down at the bottom right. So if you click that, the first thing you'll see here is a 71SO calculator or the 71SOT calculator. Now this calculator, I will tell you, uh, has been probably the most important aspect of this app. What it will allow you to do is rather than trying to use algebra and all the formulas that we've got in the back of our manual, now the manual is always the first and, and final authority, but what this calculator does is it takes all those calculations that are done manually in the back of the manual in Appendix A, and it puts it actually in a wizard. So it asks you a question, you go and get that value. It asks you another question, you'll get that value. The first value you'll have to enter is what is the authority having jurisdiction in your area think cutoff is? Do they think that shutoff is uh, is 95%? Do they think it's 90%? Now, again, you, you don't want to try to adjust those values. Just enter exactly what your authority having jurisdiction says is the percentage. And then what it will do is at the very end, it gives you the values for the 71 uh, SO and the 71 SOT, uh, the upper tube length for initial or primary shutoff as well as final shutoff. And then very soon we're going to, going to have a video that's going to be added to the app that will help you to explain to somebody, possibly you've even got a regulator that doesn't understand what uh, primary shutoff is versus final shutoff. Well, we've got a, an animation we're building right now that will go into the app. Uh, so look for that in the menu of the 71SO. And so how you would get to that is you would go to uh, the products here and then you would go to the 71SO and then up here at the top menu you would see that listed uh, as far as uh, any videos that we've got that might possibly, uh, and that's something I failed to mention with the edge bucket, any videos we've got. So like with the edge bucket, we've got uh, how to replace the primary and the secondary. Well, we've got, a vid we've got our videos on that actually in the app. And what it does is it reaches out to YouTube, grabs that video, brings it back in. So if you're actually doing something on site and you need information, Make sure and look here to see if there are installation videos, service videos, uh, rebuild videos. It depends on the product as to what we might possibly have there. But here with the 71SO and 71SOT, this is where we will put that video. So if you want to look here and it says product video, if you'll go to the product video, it will be listed here uh, as well as the other videos are available. But the one that we're creating right now for uh, what is... What is primary shutoff? What is final shutoff for our uh, overfill valves? And it will explain that. It will have a, a detailed um, animation there that will, that will illustrate that. Okay, I want to go to the tools panel here and I want to show you how to use the 71 SO, the 71 SOT calculator, okay? You can either get to it by going to the tools button down here at the bottom, or if you're in the product menu and you are in the 71 SOT, uh, you can go up to the top menu, okay? That only works if you're actually in that model. Where it always works is to go down to tools and then to click on the 71, 71 SOT calculator. What this will do first is it will give you four values. So you don't need to make any adjustments to your authority having jurisdiction percentage. You need to just just enter that percentage when it asks for it. Don't try to calculate, go, well, I want to uh, make some adjustments because this is final shutoff versus primary. Don't do that yet. We're going to give you those values later on. So first of all, what you need to do is just follow the directions that the app gives you. Okay, now you're going to have to have a tank chart. If you do not have a tank chart, you just can't use this app, this application, okay? You can't guess at the numbers. You've got to actually have the tank chart for the tank that you're uh, installing this valve into. Okay, so I'm going to hit start, and then I'm going to tell the app that the authority having jurisdiction in my area says 95%. Okay, it may be 90%, it may be 95%. You need to find that out, and it's your responsibility to do that. So next, it says, look at your tank chart. What is the maximum capacity of this tank? Now, we know we've got a 15 thousand gallon tank 
but we also know that 15,000 gallons is not the exact uh, amount of gallonage that that tank can hold. What we do is we look on our tank chart and the very last value, uh, second page, third page, whatever you've got there, will be the final value, which for us is 15041. And so that's what I'm going to add or put in here is 15041. That is my full tank. Okay. That's completely full. That's not taking into uh, any uh, percentages into consideration, just the full value, whatever the maximum number is on that chart. So we hit return, and then what it asks us for is now look at the inch reading. This is very important that you start learning to convert your fractions to decimals because we need two decimal places, and uh, that's what we've got to do here. We've got to look on my tank chart, find out that 15041 that I said was my maximum gallonage. I need to find out what the inch reading is for that. And uh, according to this chart, it's 118 and 3 eighths. Now, again, we need that in digital format. So what I've done is I've done 3 divided by eight here, okay? And that gives me my percentage or my decimal points. And uh, it's 0.375. I only have two, so I'm going to round up 0.38. So that's what I'm going to put at the end of that in inch reading. So it's 118.38. So 118.38. And that is the inch reading at that maximum amount. And then what this is going to do is give me the value that I need to look for on the tank chart. And here it is. It says that the shutoff volume for your tank based on the values that you entered is 14,288.95. So I need to look at my tank chart again. So looking at my tank chart here, I've got a value of 14,293. I don't want that one. You don't want to go up. You want to go down. Uh, the next one down would be 14,282, and so that's the one I'm going to use is 14,282. And so that told me to look at the inch reading next to that. So 14,282 would be 106 inches. So on this chart, I'm going to go 106 inches. Return next. And then now it says, what is the distance in inches from the top of the tank to the ceiling surface of the overfill prevention valve? Now, we know some people are going, oh, where exactly do you want me to measure? We've given you a diagram. Just go to view image and it actually shows you the diagram of where you need to measure from the very top of the tank. So the tape goes down, it lips, uh, it catches on the lip of the edge of the tank there, the very top of the, uh, the, uh, the tank to the ceiling surface. Now, wherever the ceiling surface is for the valve itself, wherever the valve is going to sit, that ceiling surface, that is where you need to measure up to, okay? And so in our image, I'm going to say that we've got 48 inches here. Now, I'm just estimating this doesn't come off your tank chart. This is an actual measurement. So I don't have a tank here with me, but I'm going to say 48 inches, 48 inches, enter that value. And then I get my final values. This is, woohoo, yay, I got, I got values here that I didn't have to calculate. So I look here and it tells me what my primary or initial shutoff is at 95% for the 71SO. It also gives me that same value for the 71SOT. It also gives me a final shutoff. Now, again, if you don't understand the difference between initial shutoff and final shutoff, you need to find that out. We hope to have a video that is in, in, um, embedded into the app with the 71SO model. So be looking for that. But for the moment, we can just tell you that the final shutoff means that absolutely no more fluid is going to go in that tank. Uh, initial shutoff, our, 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 our primary shutoff is where it allows just enough fluid to get through for the hose to empty uh, and the tube up above to, to enter, to, to empty into the tank but it's gonna do it in a very slow manner. So you're gonna see a hose jump whenever it hits at the primary shutoff, and then it's just going to slowly trickle the rest of that, that, uh, that uh, fuel into the tank. So you need to know what the difference is between uh, primary and secondary, and this will help you with this. And make sure that you know what your regulator is looking for, primary or secondary. And so what I can do now is I can actually email these results. I'm going to say I want to email. And so in my name, I'm just going to put Lewis here. I'll send it to myself so I know who I am. Uh, and my email is going to be uh, training at opwglobal.com. And then I'm going to email the results to who? Well, I'm just going to send it to myself. So lewis.bell at opwglobal.com.
If you ever need to get in touch with the training department, you can use either one, either my personal email address, lewis.bell at opwglobal.com, or training at opwglobal.com. So then the tank name, this is just for you. This is so that you will know. I'm sending this back to the office. This is so the office will know. So normally I would say uh, we're going to put a um, the name of the station. So I'm going to go call this Fred's. Uh, and uh, then I'm just going to put space. One, two, three, highway five. And then normally you would probably want to put you know, the name of the tank. Uh, is this a north tank, south tank, unleaded, diesel, whatever. So I'm just going to put north unleaded in case they have two different tanks. And then what happens is it will actually send me this email. You may actually hear my, my phone go blink you know, because it's going to, to send it to my phone. So what it does is it sends those results. That gives you all of the values. So if your authority having jurisdiction requires you to have uh, all the values written into a form and you need to know what all those values are, well, then this is not going to do you much good because this is just tells you the final cutting of the tube length. Okay. So uh, what it does now is when you click that email results, it will email all the results uh, back to the office or whoever you want to mail those to if you have a form that you need to fill out. And so that's how you use the tools there. Uh, in addition, uh, we have other tools that are built into the app here. We have a warranty lookup for nozzles. If you uh, are in the field and you have a, a nozzle that you're trying to figure out, you know, is this guy under warranty or not? All you got to do is uh, key that uh, serial number in here and it will reach out and grab that uh, uh, warranty information. Also, if you're on your phone, obviously, if I'm on a tablet, I can't do this unless I've got my uh, tablet enabled to, for talking somehow. But uh, you can call tech support. If you're on your phone, you just click that button and call tech support immediately if you've got further questions. And then uh, we've got a legal disclaimer there, which basically says this app is to be used as a supplement to our manuals. Okay, we're going to keep this manual or this uh, app updated. But again, uh, the manuals are the final authority for it. But we hope you like the app. We hope you'll use the app. We hope that you will give us ideas on how to make the app more valuable to you. We've got a lot of things in here that can be used for training, that can be used for sales. Can you imagine uh, not having to carry a giant um, edge bucket into a customer's office to show them all you got to do is just disassemble it, actually, with a model here. Um, in addition to that, we've got uh, a lot of things that we're going to be adding to the, uh, the um, uh, app this year. Uh, on our roadmap this year is adding Spanish. Uh, on our roadmap this year is also adding the ability to uh, use the uh, calculator to walk up to a, uh, to a valve and determine if that valve is um, installed at the correct depth. So uh, we have all these things going on for you. We want you to use the app. We want you to give us ideas. Again, it's free. Download it now. I'm going to put the, uh, the QR codes back on the screen so that you can see those again. All you got to do is scan that. It will take you directly to the app so that you can download it. Use it. Tell us what you think about it. Thank you very much. Again, my name is Lewis Bell. Uh, you can contact me at training at opwglobal.com. Thank you very much.